So I headed down the, to Austin to check out the Lee Nelson Tool Show. This is actually the first one I've been to. If you're not familiar with Lee Nelson, they make really high quality hand tools. They're American made. They're based out of Maine. Uh, I have a few of their planes behind me here on my rack and I have a couple of their saws and uh, a couple of their chisels. Very cool place to go at the tool show. I, I've got a link to their website in the description, so go click it, check it out. Uh, you can get a schedule of where the shows are. I highly recommend you go find one in your area. They do, all, they do demonstrations, hands-on work with you. You get to use the tools. They have all the tools there for you. Uh, it's a really cool experience. They have the workbenches set up. They have sharpening stations set up. So not only is it educational, but you have an opportunity to use these really high-quality tools and even purchase them. That gives you a fence, or at least I think it works for me. Here, we'll show a little trick. This is something that uh, kids like, or you could write. You could write something on here. You could write. Okay. You want to come get it? No, it's good. Don't drop it. Is that good? tips over. But you can put a thousand pounds in the tip of that fork, no problem. Okay. Um, I'm getting the brakes worked on next week. They're going to overhaul them. Okay. Um, but if you had this... So you're telling me the brakes like don't... You, you can try it, try it right here. They're, they're okay. fine. Okay, they're going to stop Tell you. me what, this puts it in neutral drive? Forward okay. and back. Okay. Right? It's just, that's the shift. It starts only in neutral. Yes. If you stop it, it, it may the starter may grind on it a bit, but just wiggle this and then try again. Just wiggle it. Wiggle it. All right. And then try again. Um, but that goes off. This. It'll hold you, but just don't be careful. If I'm on a hill, I need to keep the brake on. Yeah, keep okay. your keep your. But you're gonna find. It's. Uh, you, I wouldn't even bring your camera. Put it in your. This no thing way, is dude. rattly as hell. Made it. Pretty sure I'm deaf. I think once we get it down on there, I might be able to just scoot it. That's cool. 
push, you know, put a board across the back and push. All right, guys, so we went out to Comfort yesterday and picked up this old tool, and here it is. It is an old Oliver, it's model number 35 bandsaw. Uh, it needs a lot of work, and I'm starting to already think that possibly I got in over my head on this. I've got to find a way to get it off, and I can't get anybody out here to help me right now. So what I was thinking I was going to do is go ahead and start taking photos of the whole machine that way I kind of have an idea, I'm going to disassemble it and I have an idea of how to put it back together by using my photos. Um, and I might start taking some parts off now just to make it a little bit lighter. And then uh, I'm going to clean it up and try to get it running again. I don't know a lot about it, so if any of you guys uh, know about these machines, please feel free to comment below or write me a message with any thoughts. Um, I know I need to get a motor for it. It's really all it needs though is a motor, which is a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, getting it apart won't be easy because it's pretty rusty, uh, but that's what I'm going to start working on now. Oh, heads up. Uh, the top wheel, I gotta figure out how to get it off. It's loose, it's on a dove slide, kind of like a sliding dovetail up there. So I could slide it off with some help. Uh, the bottom wheel down there, I don't know how I'm gonna get that off. It's pretty stuck. But, you know, I'll figure it out. Alright, I've gotten this about half inch off the shaft, and it is not budging. I snaggle tooth my crowbar here. Uh, you know, I have a little concern of leveraging back here on that. I got a board here that helps even the pressure and hopefully not do any damage, but I'm not so sure how I'm gonna get this off. Okay, I'm back and I think I got this figured out. Oh, the system is so retarded. I'm trying to fit four pieces of wood in here. Okay. 
We can, well, we can start a fire under it to burn the wood out. <laughs> Where's this thing hey, going? It's right. right there. Right there. Get it down the, there it goes. Down the middle. There it goes. There it goes. Alright, it's gonna be. We can maybe walk Should we come off this way too? Yeah, we need to it off. Uh, let's, go, let's go our way. This way. Here. Turn into speed. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, fuck, slow down! Slow down! Yeah! So, guys, I really look forward to um, fixing this saw up and sharing it with you guys so you guys can see it. I will say I am a woodworker by trade. Uh, this mechanic stuff, I love doing it and figuring it out, but I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, so far, so good. As you can tell, this saw is completely. Um, almost all, way, all the way disassembled. So hopefully on the next episode I'll be painting everything, reassembling the saw, then we gotta put uh, tires on the wheels, uh, I need to get guides for the top, uh, motor for this thing, and then the tabletop needs quite a bit of work. Uh, and that'll be the next two or three episodes. Hopefully I can have this thing done in, in the next maybe three months. It, it's quite a bit of work, even just the cleaning and the rust and all that is taking a lot of time. I'm really excited to bring this back to life. Um, it has a lot of history to it. This thing was purchased in 1925 uh, by a company in, in, in California, as far as I've been able to find out. Um, I don't know how it made its way to Texas. I know at one point it was owned by Ed uh, Frederick. Frederick, I'm not sure exactly how to uh, pronounce that. He was a furniture maker in uh, Texas who started his business in the late, late 1800s um, and eventually somehow shifted it into uh, AC and refrigeration. So it has ties to San Antonio. It has ties uh, to Texas, which to me is awesome. I, I can't wait to get this thing back up and running. I'm super excited that you guys will be a part of the process and see it happen. I hope to use this for the rest of my career, and I hope it'll get another good 100 years of use out of it. Um, so be on the lookout for more videos coming y'all's way.